And now to a follow up on a story we first told you about more than a year ago. A Farmingville man desperate for a kidney transplant to save his life. Well, now the search is happily over. News 12's Christine Nsinga shares his story. I'm feeling real good today. This is Bobby Costa of Farmingville. I first introduced you to him back in September of 2020 when his daughter Melanie Majorca made this touching TikTok video pleading for help. Her dad was in desperate need of a kidney. We need him. <laughs> he is the head of our family. My girls live and breathe for him. Terry Marino of Bayport was watching that day. I saw your story. It was my daughter-in-law's friend's dad. But it moved me, and I just thought, oh, please, somebody get that man a kidney already. Since then, Bobby and his family say it's been a roller coaster of emotions. One of Melanie's friends was a match earlier this year, but then for some reason the hospital said they couldn't do the surgery. I didn't think it was going to ever happen. Fast forward to this last November. Melanie receives a call from her best friend of 20 years. Her brother-in-law is on life support, and they want Melanie's father to have his kidney. Their family knew our story and specifically asked Kate to make sure that this would go to my father because that would give them some sense of peace. The donor was Anthony Marino, Terry's youngest son. Anthony struggled with depression for 20 years and he fought. But last month, the 35 year old took his own life. Everyone was talking about what a big heart he had. And he did. His pain was just too great. When Terry and her husband were asked about organ donation, she said it was a, quote, no brainer. And she remembered Bobby. It was a ray of light for me. If I could turn his tragedy into something good for somebody else or give them life, it wasn't, a, it wasn't even a question. In one of the most terrible situations of their lives, they thought of us. They thought of my kids. That was what they kept saying. They want my kids to have their pop pop. I can't imagine being in that situation and having so much compassion to be able to look past your own heartache and to be giving to another family. Terry is now an advocate for those suffering with depression. I know a lot of people, there's a big stigma on suicide, but there shouldn't be because it is the same that as if they had cancer or any other illness. If you see somebody that's struggling, you need to reach out. As for Anthony, Terry says he lives on, and no one knows that better than Bobby. Well, he gave me my life back. Christine Ensinger, News 12, Long Island. And Bobby has had several follow-up visits with doctors. All they say have been positive.